everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you've never seen my face before or you never ever knew that I existed, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Definitely, you're not gonna be disappointed with it. You know guys, so many things are going on in this world, but today I just want to put a smile on your face. And we're doing something so weird. I saw this thing on those five minute hacks, like there's a, there's a channel, I'm going to link it down below, that does some things really, really fast, like some hacks really really fast and some of them are so weird honestly like some of them were mind-blowing and i had to pick like some of the most mind-blowing ones that i felt were like wow like seriously how comes i never thought of this before <laughs> so we are going to actually do some um diy things and then we are going to test them on my face to see if actually these hacks work because some of these things are lies by the way but I'm sure nobody would be posting a lie on YouTube. So let's just see. Let's just get into the video. Make sure you subscribe. And to be honest, I've never ever tried any of these things before. We are actually going to make an eyeshadow, like a DIY eyeshadow. Honestly, like a homemade eyeshadow. I just saw it on the internet. Of course, I knew eyeshadows had a way of being made, but I didn't think you could do it at home. And also, um, we're also doing a lipstick uh, hack. Like, you'll just see it. It's very weird, guys. <laughs> just stay tuned. Honestly, it's so weird. And I have to... And this is the first time, as I said, I'm doing these things. The first time. So, it's not something that I'm, I've been practicing or anything of the sort. So, if it backfires, just understand, honestly, that I've never done it before. So, yeah, let's just go into the video. Let's start by making the eyeshadow and then we'll make the... Uh... So, this is just a bowl with one teaspoon of water. And then I'm just taking some food color, but I'm using a powder. You can also use the um, liquid one. And you, ha you can just choose any color of your choice. I just choose red because I don't have any red eyeshadow. Yeah, so you mix the water and the food color until it gets red, of course. And then uh, you just mix in some baby powder or talc, I guess. So I'm just mixing the baby powder into that mixture. It's, it's up to you. You know, they don't put any measurements on that uh, video. So it's up to you to to <laughs> to just guess the consistency of the eyeshadow that you want and just put randomly the amounts because they, they don't put any measurements, no amounts, no nothing. So it's become a paste. I stirred, I stirred until it became a paste. And it's like a cream paste. So I'm just filling it into my eyeshadow palette. Yeah, there's a, a, a part, a small, uh, a smaller palette that came off that palette. So I'm just putting it back in and we are done. So for this stage, for the lipstick, you're going to need two lipsticks, as you've seen, of different colors, of course, probably a darker shade and a lighter shade. And then uh, we are cutting a small piece of each of the lipsticks. Of course, you need a razor blade for this. So you can even use a knife, I guess, if the knife is sharp enough. <laughs> After cutting the small pieces off each of the lipsticks, you interchange those pieces to mean that, as you can see, I chose burgundy and pink. So the small piece of burgundy is going on the pink lipstick and the small piece of pink is going on the burgundy lipstick. And then you're supposed to like uh, burn them up, not burning up, but you're supposed to like light a fire. I lost the footage for this actually, but as you can see, I burnt it. It melted like a candle. Now this stage for burning is actually just to fix the the pieces back onto the lipstick. I see this is the lipstick that we've just made. Okay, we've not made it technically, we've altered it. So it's over here. We are going to test it out. Guys, we have to test this. By the way, this lipstick, this is a really cheap brand. It's normally like 70 bob, like in the beauty shop or something of the sort. 
kwa duka anywhere kwa supermarket they are normally there like i think because these ones i bought at 75 more so these ones it when when i burnt it it melted like candle wax literally so we are going to test it and see if it actually works like if it works but then if you want a really cheap brand honestly i'd prefer you go for this signature because these other like knockoff brands you know this is not really a knockoff brand it's just a cheap brand but these other knockoff brands you can kylie jenna knockoff cg mark knockoff they're not really good and they're normally very like weird and bad so if you really want a cheap lipstick go for for this signature however this is not a sponsored video not at all so right here we have our homemade eyeshadow this one here so we are just going to start with this eyeshadow so that we can just confirm if it works seriously because i'm just curious but then the consistency the consistency of this eyeshadow has it has it my normal it's sorry for for that if you got lost there but the consistency of this eyeshadow I use it a normal. It's actually like a gel eyeshadow. That's how it feels. So, as you can see, right there, we are going to take it so that you can see with your own two eyes the way I'm taking this homemade eyeshadow. And then we are going to apply it on the eyes. I know that the lighting has become funny. That's because I'm now filming at night. Like, seriously. It's become so dark. So I'm just taking like dabbing dabbing and then I'm going to blend it out with this brush and blend it out my god I, seriously it works people it works if you don't know how if you don't have a color of eyeshadow inside your palette just take food color honestly and take your what is it called um, what you saw what you, what you saw me doing honestly it works I'm so happy it's even better than this cheap like eyeshadow that I have that never shows color and in fact I didn't even have a red one so guys seriously it works so if you don't know how to make an eyeshadow or you don't have a color you guys i've given you the secret i'm going to link the video that i removed from down below so just check in my comment section that video and you're going to see it another thing next is our lipstick oh my god so what i've noticed about this uh diy eyeshadow is that it actually starts off as as like um a cream consistency and then when it dries down it dries down matte i don't think you can do like i guess you can throw in shimmer shades by adding glitter if i'm not wrong i'm going to try that in another video but they it dries down matte now let's just go to the lipstick honestly because if this one worked i'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out and i just put like the the dark the one that had the dark I don't know if you can see if my camera has gotten focused but basically i took the one that has like a lighter shade and then a darker shade so that we can see exactly whether the darker shade will appear so let's test this it works because i'm seeing like the lipstick is a blend of uh, both it's a blend of actually both the lipsticks i think this method is better if you want like a blended lipstick because according to that video i'll just insert a clip if i find the clip <laughs> according to that video 
like if you, it was supposed to show a demarcation like these two lipsticks okay these two lipsticks you're supposed to see like the pink one outside and then the brown one on the inside like you're supposed to see a demarcation but i don't think that's possible but if you want like a blended lipstick a color that you don't have and you really really want honestly it works however just not the way they portrayed it like the way i thought you know you know those things we normally do like a darker shade then a lighter one that's how it was portrayed but that's not really what happened and i can also see like the eyeshadow is kind of extremely matte like it's very very matte like it looks like a powder yeah but i think it still works tell me what you think in the comment section below would you try something like this like I'm telling you, go to that page. They have crazy things. Crazy things there. I, I'm not even sure if some of them work, seriously. But thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end. If you haven't yet subscribed, come on, guys. It's just a subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. You know, it also makes somebody feel like at least they're, they're you know, at least making a change in the world. Maybe... Uh, adding some information to somebody or something of the sort and I'd really appreciate it. However You can also like this video you can also dislike it and thank you so much I'll see you in my next video and I cannot fail to mention I do post videos every Monday Wednesday and Saturday usually in the morning around between 6 30 a.m. to 7 30 a.m. Because I get up very early and I'm so grateful for everything you guys are supportive and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video.